In Laravel 5.5, there's been a really nice update to creating custom blade directives. And this is uh, essentially just assuming an if statement. Now, if you're not sure what custom blade directives are, we're gonna take a look at that in this part as well. So you'll learn something new before you understand the changes to this. Uh, but essentially what these are is a really nice way to create a kind of uh, wrapper in your template as to what you want to show. Now, just to demonstrate this, we've got a default Laravel setup just here, and I'm gonna go ahead and register an account so I can kind of get into my account area. And of course, we see the navigation just up here. Now, for example, if a user is an admin, you're gonna to want to show an admin link inside of the navigation. So let's come over to our user model and let's create a little method in here which we would conveniently use to check if a user was an admin and i'm just going to hard code this in uh, but of course you would have uh, your logic in here to check that and we have a course on roles and permissions as well if you do want to implement uh, that kind of functionality so of course what we would do is over in app.blade.php where all of the navigation lives we would add this in just around here now it's really important to note that guest has been available since laravel 5.4 so you can actually use guest to check if a user signed out rather than using something like at if auth check equals false or whatever. So that's a really, really useful thing. And this is exactly what we're gonna be creating with our custom blade directive. So inside of here, what we would do, if we wanted to check if a user was an admin, we would create a blade if statement and go ahead and end that. And we would use maybe auth user in here, or you can go ahead and use the auth helper like this, it's entirely up to you. And you would use is admin. Now this is a really simple uh, thing. So an if statement here isn't too much, but if anything got a little bit more complicated than that, of course, you're gonna to want to extract this out to a custom blade directive. So in this case, we want to show an admin link inside of here if that user is an admin. And of course, because we've hard coded that in, we see that link in there. If we go and just get rid of this by setting this to false, we don't see that anymore. So how would we go ahead and create a custom blade directive for this, for example, admin, and then end admin. That would look a little bit cleaner and it makes a little bit more sense. Now at the moment, we're just gonna see admin and end admin. It doesn't really work because we don't have our custom directive in there. Let's build this out in the traditional way so we can see how these work if you're new to them. And then we'll look at the new addition to Laravel 5.5. So the first thing I want to do is create a service provider to hold all of my custom blade directives. What I usually do is go ahead and make a service provider called blade service provider. And I put anything uh, custom to do with blade inside of there. So let's go and open this up. We'll go ahead and register it. So let's pull this open, head over to our config app file and come down to where our service providers are registered. Go ahead and duplicate this one down and we'll switch this over to blade service provider. So how do we create a custom directive to essentially achieve what we've just done here? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We just use the blade facade to go ahead and register a directive. So we need to make sure that we pull in the uh, facade uh, namespace just here. And we basically give the start and end tag. So in this case, we would have an admin, we would have a callback in here, and now we basically just return what we'd want to see on the page. Now, because Blade works with normal PHP tags, what we would have to do in here is just return an opening PHP tag, a closing PHP tag, an if statement inside of here, a kind of shorthand if statement, and then we would just do what we normally would in here. So we can use auth check, we can use the auth helper if we want it to be a little bit cleaner. And then inside of here, we can say, and if, if auth user is admin, then we can go ahead and show something uh, that we want. Now, the only problem with the directive method is we have to separately register an end admin or end whatever you're doing. And this will involve just using, again, the shorthand PHP syntax for ending an if statement inside of a template. So this will go ahead and work now. If we just head over to the browser and give this a refresh, you can see that we're seeing exactly what we saw before. If we come over to user and set this to false, this is just gonna work in exactly the same way. So it's a lot nicer uh, to have to do this because we can extract out any kind of logic we want and just have a really simple directive in here. However, this is a little bit messy. We're having to define out the start and the end on their own. And we have to implement this kind of 
complex template logic. If you had anything more complicated than this, things would start to get a little bit messy. So let's go ahead and scrap all of this and look at the new addition to Laravel 5.5. And this is still using the blade uh, facade, but this time we have an if method. Now this allows us to say, well, we just want to define our admin, which is going to assume that we're automatically going to register an end admin tag. And then in here, we can just return without outputting any kind of custom PHP tags, the logic that we originally put in there. So in this case, I can just say if auth check and auth user is admin like so, and that is pretty much all we need to do. So a massive improvement on how this works. You can see we don't see any errors. We don't see any markup output or anything like that. And if we head over to user here and switch this over to true, you can see that that just works in exactly the same way. Now, much the same as normal blade directives where we had to register these out separately, as we've just seen, we can also pass arguments through to this as well. So for something like checking if a user is an admin, uh, of course, what we're doing here is assuming that it's the currently signed in user. What happens if we had some kind of template in here, which was an admin panel, and we wanted to show a user down here, but we wanted to show if they were say an admin or a moderator, we wanna show a completely separate section. So basically what we want to do is using, first of all, this change, we wanna make this a little bit more flexible and give ourselves a little bit more control. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this and we're gonna assume that we're passing through a user into here. And we're gonna pass that user in and by default, we're gonna have that set to null. What we can now do is go ahead and say, well, in this case, I want to check if user is null, then I just want to return false. Now, in this case, that would assume that the user that's been passed in either hasn't been passed in or the user uh, is not available or the user's just not signed in. So in this case, then over in app.blade.php, we would go ahead and pass in the current user like so. And then we now have the flexibility to pass in any other user to this method. Now, if we give that a refresh, you can see it works in exactly the same way. And once again, if we just switch this over to false, you can see that that is working perfectly. So this is absolutely fine, but you can achieve even more flexibility with this uh, if you wanted to. Well, in this case, we can say, well, we're still checking if that user hasn't been passed in, but we're also saying, and auth check is available, then we can go ahead and assign user to that user like so. This basically means if the user hasn't been passed in, but the user is signed in, we assign the user that's currently signed in. What we can now do down here is go ahead and check if there is no user, return false, either the user isn't signed in or the uh, user doesn't exist and we can do exactly the same thing down here. So all this has done now is given us the ability to use admin, which will by default use the currently signed in user like so, or we can go ahead and now pass in a user. So as an example, if you were building out some kind of admin panel, panel and you wanted to show some kind of logic based on a user's condition, what you can now do is just pass that user into here and uh, that's just gonna work in exactly the same way. So just to demonstrate this, we could go ahead and say app user find one and that would work in exactly the same way. So if we give that a refresh, you can see it works. So there's a lot you can do with this. Another really useful example of using this is if we are on a uh, production environment or a local environment. So what you can actually do is go ahead and create a blade directive to maybe show some kind of debug information if you're on a local machine, but not show it if you're on a production machine. And this is a really useful one. So we could say, uh, create a tag called EMV inside of here we can take in the environment that we want to use and we can return app environment passing in that environment and that will show something if we have uh, or if we're on a particular environment so let's say for example if we are on the local environment well we want to go ahead and show something in here so in this case let's just go ahead and make this really simple and assume we had some kind of debug link through to something on our local machine and you can see that we do get that if we were to go and change our environment here over to production, of course, we're not going to see that. So there's a huge amount of things that you can do with this. Uh, it's a lot easier. It's a lot tidier, particularly if you're registering lots of these now. Of course, uh, the directive method, as we saw earlier, is still useful. But if you just need an if statement like this, it just makes things a lot cleaner and a lot easier to maintain.